What's up guys? Today we're doing the year in review. We're gonna talk about some of the cool trips and tackle and gear that go into slow pitch jigging. And we're also just gonna dig into a little bit of our personal favorites on what happened this year and what we love about it the most. We're just a few guys that decided to pursue our passion as we hit destination fishing spots in our local waters out of Pompano Beach, Florida. We wanna fill you in on what we have learned along the way. You. Thanks for tuning in guys. We really wanted to take you along on a, on a brief journey um, of this past year and what we've experienced and just try to take the time to, to recap it so we can share it uh, with you. Favorite trip of the year? Well, uh, we didn't slouch this year because we, we, did, we did do three trips on the Yankee Cap out of Stock Island and Key West. Um, however, uh, even though each one of those trips was special in its own way, and we're, we've talked a little bit about those trips in this video, my favorite trip of the year that I'm going to go with was when Johnny and I traveled over to, I believe it was Palm Harbor, Florida, just a smidge north of Tampa, and linked up with Captain Kevin, Real Salty Low, Ryan Hanks, and Alistair, and we hopped on Captain Kevin's uh, Edgewater and headed out to the middle ground. So my favorite trip of the year has to be uh, what I guess I'm going to call the first annual Keys Yankee Cap Keys trip. So we booked a house in the Keys on the water for the week before the Yankee Cap and the week after the Yankee Cap. We dragged the Mako down there and we went out and we just fished and we dove and we had a great time with the boat down there in the Keys. I swear I saw a missile on there somewhere. <laughs> it's not America. Just a mosquito guy. And then we went down to the Yankee Cap and had our fantastic trip down there. Destination fishing trips of the year. Um, all the spots that I was able to fish this year, and let me just start off by saying that I feel so blessed. Like all of the people that have invited me fishing and the destinations that I've been invited to go fishing, and I wish that I could hit up every single one of you and go fishing with all of these these amazing places you know all the way from uh new jersey down to the keys um and oregon uh, you know to to california you know south california um i've been invited to go to so many cool places including south america central america and i wish that i could hit every one of you up and go do that 
um, but it, it would probably be impossible because I'm only one person. But thank you, thank you for inviting me on these trips. I feel super blessed to be invited to go fish with you guys and maybe one day we'll see. My favorite trip really has to be um, my trip to Venice, Louisiana with uh, Mel and Trey and Guillermo. And then What this year really brought in tackle here um, for us uh, here at Johnny Jigs, you know, and, and not just our gear, you know, just slow pitch jigging gear in general that I was really excited about. Um, number one being the Accurate Valiant 500N SPJ. So Accurate, you know, finally made a reel that is specific to slow pitch jigging. And that was something for me because I'm an accurate guy. I like my accurate reels and to have one that is specific to slow pitch jigging uh, was very exciting. And then progressing on, you know, Chris and I were very frustrated many times this year um, about split rings that would separate on us. And early in the year, we finally sourced these triple wrap split rings that were the answer to our questions. I mean, at a 135 pound test, um, these things are not gonna stretch, they're not gonna come apart on you. And that was something that was very important to us to be able to source that and find that. In a year that started out with, with so many uncertainties, uh, fishing, you know, was one of those bright spots. We were, we were really blessed to pick up Temple Reef as a uh, rod manufacturer that we can deal here. Uh, we've all been fishing Temple Reef now for several years. And just to be on the forefront and clued into uh, what, what they have been doing with their rods. And then they've done a lot of exciting stuff uh, this year. And, and there's a lot more exciting stuff coming uh, really at, at the, as this video is being published and released. In addition to Temple Reef, another exciting manufacturer was, was Hytina, uh, the, the Japanese manufacturer of, of really assist hook cord, many other pieces of tackle, but we really grabbed hold of their um, Kevlar core and their metal core assist hook cord, uh, stock it here at the shop, uh, obviously use it you know, personally and, and tying our own assist hooks, and I've tied many, many, many sets of assist hooks for uh, for customers of ours. The Johnny Jigs Pro Jigger really hands down was the most exciting product we came out with. And now this isn't just something that we had made and then put it on the market and said, here, try this. Like we tested many, many, many prototypes. I mean, like, like a whole truckload of prototypes that we tested out before we came to this design that we like you know we went short we went long you know we went medium and and uh, we changed grip patterns around we changed hook keepers around um, gimbal no gimbal there was just so many decisions to make to go into this one rod um, before we finally um, made a selection and said this is the one Um, and then the next thing was that, you know, we got into some more customization of our jigs. Obviously we came up with um, a new eye design on our jigs. We've gotten into some new uh, color palettes as well. And then even some new shapes that are starting to, to take um, a hold that people are really starting to enjoy um, as far as the jigs go. We're really working towards the goal that we have here at Johnny Jigs and that's making slow pitch jigging uh, every man's game, not a rich man's game. We want it to be affordable, accessible, um, and most importantly, we want people to get out there and try it and have fun doing it. So when we're talking about the opportunity of 
an epic trip at some point in this year. This one's pretty easy for me. Um, there's a guy I've been talking to, Captain Benjamin Hill, uh, who runs La Cana Fishing Charters on a little island off the coast of Honduras, which is called Utila. And I would really love to link our team up with him and go down there for a few days and fish those waters. Bucket list trip. Corey, you listening in California? Straight out of Compton? I want to go catch a bluefin tuna in California. That That is a bucket list trip. I have two of them. I have two of them. I'm not gonna lie, I have two bucket list trips. Corey, California, bluefin tuna. Mel and Trey, I want to catch a yellowfin tuna in Venice, Louisiana. So these are my two trips that I want to accomplish in 2021, and I'm hoping that you guys can help me make this happen. If you're watching, let's do this. Phone calls are coming left and right. And if there's one thing I have to say, I can tell you what you're gonna say before I answer the phone. Number one, I've been fishing my whole life and I'm new to this. How do I get into slow pitch jigging? And number two, what equipment do I need to do to get this done successfully? I can literally walk everybody through that on the phone. Chris, John, and myself field a lot of phone calls and we're more than happy to get you guys going in the right direction so that we can all jig on.